Hi guys, so welcome to another Python tutorial video and in this video we're going to be discussing the Python Pandas library for data analysis and this is the part 2. Of course, we made the part 1 where we talked about um, downloading and installing Pandas, right? And then we talked about Pandas series, Pandas data frame and a whole lot of other stuff. We talked about how to, you know, really see your data, um, how to import your data and we use some commands like um, head tail info and let's get right into this tutorial so in this tutorial i'll quickly open up my uh jupyter notebook and once my jupyter notebook opens up i'm going to um, import pandas and then i will start cleaning the data so this tutorial is all about cleaning your data now why do you need to clean your data your data may come with um, some issues okay like empty cells okay um, I'm just going to delete this so your data may come with issues like empty cells uh, wrong data format and a whole lot of other issues that comes with um, raw data but in this tutorial you're going to learn how you can clean your data properly so let's import panels right so i'm just going to do import pandas as pd uh, alias shift and enter and then i'm going to uh, read the csv file which we'll be working with and that csv file i'm going to save it in a variable called work data and i would read the csv file so pd dot read underscore csv and then you want to input the data in a string okay so remember i taught you how to um, impute the data the last tutorial but i'll just refresh your memory go to your desktop and locate where you have that data okay and note every code in here will be available to you okay every code in here will be available to you so i'm just going to copy this right remember it's dirty data.csv paste that there and then add my dirty data dot csv because this is what we are referencing if you do just this you get error because you need to escape all this backlash sequence so you need to escape all the backlashes like so so once you do this shift enter you don't get any error then let us print out our work data so the first thing we need to do is just um, check the first five rows to just see what's in there so what data does head and it gives me the first five rows and you can see that and if i do work data dot tail i get the last five rows and you can see i'm already noticing um not a number right here so you see i have any n which means this cell is actually empty okay this cell is actually empty and we are noticing some other things the date is in a string format instead of a date time format so that's wrong formatting and a whole lot of other things we would know so let us just do work data dot info right here shift enter and you see i get a glance of everything that is going on in this data you can see i have 32 rows in this first line here range index i have the two rows okay so 0 to 31 that's the index numbers and i have data columns total five columns okay and you can see my five columns which is duration date pause max pause and calories okay now you can also see the type of data the data type okay data type in 64 this date is an object in 64 in 64 float 64 for calories okay now you can also see at a glance i have the number of uh, empty data sets okay so if i know i have 32 rows and yeah i know under the date 31 is not null that means one of them is null okay so of course under calories you see 30 is not null that means we have two empty cells under calories but don't worry i'll teach you how to clean this data and take care of your data so we have done uh, we talked about three um we talked about three different uh we talked about three different 
commands right here so i'll just uh, put the commands for you to see them and the commands we talked about let me just insert cell above so a right and the commands we talked about are let me just make this a markdown okay so this is not a code and it won't run um so what i would do is i'm going to just write the commands we talked about just now so work data dot head that's the first command this is going to give you the head of the the first five rows okay and then we also talked about work data dot tail so this is just so you have the commands at your fingertips and we saw work data dot info right we saw work data dot info so this is not going to run this is not a code i'm just writing this so you um so you get to understand exactly uh what we're talking about right there so these are the three commands we discussed just now and then work data dot info gives you like a summary of exactly what is going on so let's print uh work data and see so we can print work data right like this uh work data then dot we call it to string two underscore string method okay so two underscore string method is going to give us a summary of everything we have here so let's start cleaning the data so the first thing we want to talk about is taking care of the empty um empty cells okay cells where you have just empty data nothing is being recorded like on line 18 you see you have not a number on line 28 you see you have not a number under the calories um column and under the date column as well you see you have not a number on line 22 so those are some of the empty data how do we take care of the empty data we just have to say work data right dot drop n a okay so this function work data the drop n is going to erase or uh, delete all the empty data so let's see exactly what it does so if i call that and i just do this you see i don't have any empty um, cells with empty data all gone okay cells with empty data all gone but the thing is the thing is if you do um, work data dot drop na now what happens is it's going to it's not going to affect the original data okay it's not going to affect the original data now let me show you what i mean if i come back here and just print out work data right here so shift enter you see that the original data is not affected okay now i would show you exactly how you can do that in place okay so how you can do um uh, drop drop na command so it affects the original data okay now you have to add a particular command and that particular command is going to be in place okay you're going to be in place right equals in place equals true so once you add in place equals true is now going to affect the original data okay now but i don't want to just do uh drop and a there is another command that i'm i would show you so drop any is going to drop the empty um data but i'm going to show you another command quickly so you can actually uh instead of just deleting the empty data you can fill it so for calories for instance let's look at calories you see that calories we have some empty data but we can actually fill this data with values and then we can work with that instead of just deleting the data um altogether so how do we do that we can use the fill any command so the fill any command is going to fill a particular data so if i just put a value here for example 120 it's going to fill every empty cell with the value 120 and we don't want that we want just calories so to reference calories i can easily um call my calories function like so in front of work data i'll just call the calories right here like this and then i'll say fill na with 120 right if i do shift and enter you see that all my calories 
have been filled for example 28 has 120 and what else what other uh, empty cell did we fill up um i think we have filled up 18 and 28 with 120 but there is also a better way to even achieve this right remember if i'm using this it's not going to affect the original data if i want it to affect the original data i have to add the in place parameter okay or the in place argument not palace in place equals true so if i do this now it's going to affect the original work data and i'm cleaning the actual work data right but before this i'm also going to show you how you can um, fill up your data with the mean the mode and the median of that particular uh, column okay so we can actually find the mean mode and median of this column and then we use that to fill up our data okay so instead of 120 i'm just going to say fill up the data with the mean okay or fill up the data with the mode or fill up the data with the median all right so i'm going to show you um how you can fill up the data with these different parameters all right so the first thing we want to do is um before we use the fill na command we need to find the mean okay so to find the mean you do x and then you just say work data right work data and then you want to also reference the calories right calories work data you want to reference the calories and then the mean okay so work data calories dot mean okay so if i do this and um the next thing i want to do is say x okay and then if i do this it's going to give me the mean and um it will fill that up with the mean so let's see what's x first of all so i want to just print x first and then let's see so x is 304 right here and it has filled it up with the mean of the calories with 304 okay so i'm just going to copy this and show you the same for mode and the same for median so if i go back to my next cell and i control v to paste that right and then i change this to median this time so i'm going to hit enter and see what the median is 291.2 so if you use the median it's going to fill line 28 you see 28 with 291.2 and also line 18 with 291.2 right and then finally the last one is going to be the last one is going to be um we did the median mean mode okay the mode okay so the mode and i'm going to give it um index of zero right here okay so if i do this shift and enter you see the mode is 300 all right so i i know you know what mean mode and median is measures of central tendency if you don't know it um i'll drop a link in the description to just refresh your memory so that's that about the mean mode and median so let's go with filling up the data with the mode so if i do in place for example before i show you in place function let me just print out work data so you can see that whatever we have been doing is not affected work data is not affected in any way look at it 28 has not a number and also 18 also still has not a number so let's just fill it up with the mode okay so if i do work data right here fill x and i'll just add the in place um argument so in place equals true okay so if i do this shift and enter i have been able to now do my uh work data and i filled it up now if you go over here and i print work data one more time shift enter you would see that line 28 has been filled now so in place has been able to affect the work data directly now the next thing i want to show you is so we've been able to um, use the drop na function the fill na function to correct uh, missing data 
so we've handled missing data okay or empty cells right we've handled empty cells now let's now look at wrong data format if you look at the date format it's in string we need to actually convert this um date format to uh dates of course date time format in python so python has a date time format that you can actually easily convert that particular column everything should be in date time format look at 26 you see that you have like of course a wrong formatting and empty uh, value in line 22 so let's quickly convert that how do we convert that we reference work data okay so we we'll say work data right and then what we want to reference right here is the date okay so we want to reference the date and what do we want to do with the date so we want to say um pd dot pd dot date time okay sorry pd two underscore date time okay so if we have this pd two underscore date time and then we want to pass in work data right here okay so if i control c this and then this all right so i'm actually going to convert this convert whatever we have in dates and i'm going to convert it to python date time if i shift and enter and i've done that conversion so i'm just going to do um print work data shift enter and you can see right here that everything has been converted right here and then now we have a problem um 22 is saying nat okay nat means not a time okay not a time so it's unable to do the conversion for line 22 or row 22 how do we do that we can easily just drop row 22 okay or we can just drop every empty um every empty value or every empty cell in the date column so let's just drop the empty cells in date column how do we do that of course the drop um and a function okay so the drop any function that we looked at before can be used to easily drop that so look at how we do that we'll just say uh work data right we say work data and then you want to call dot drop any okay the drop any function now what we want to pass in is something called a subset okay and that subset is going to be the date okay because we are talking about the date okay so once we call work data the drop any function of the date and then one more thing we need to tell it to do this in place so in place equals true and if we run this function right now okay and remember we need to close this so if we run this function like so um in place equals true i hope i'm not doing something wrongly okay this needs to be like this okay so this is now in place equals true okay we don't need this so this is correct now so um if i do shift enter i have actually dropped the empty um cells in my work data okay so let's look at that and see exactly what we have so let me print work data one more time shift um i'm just going to do shift enter and let's examine it okay so you can see in the date we don't have any empty cells and we've been able to work on the calories as well we've been able to clean our calories um look at max pulse we don't have any problem let's look at pulse we don't have any issue but if you look at duration guys look at duration you would see an outlier on row 7 now and the outlier on row 7 we're noticing is 450 right 450 but if you look at the other values you can see that we have most of them are 60 okay the highest value we have there is 60 so how can you um actually how can you actually uh, work with a data like this it's very easy to work with a data like this so it's very easy to work with a data like this and 
let me show you how so you can actually call work data and just um and reference the loc of the data okay so dot loc okay so if i do that if i reference the loc of this data what i can do now is to uh give it a value okay so i can give it a value and because it's a small data i can easily say on row seven right and then um what do i want to replace it with but i would not do it this way okay i will not do it this way. i'll show you a better way to do it a better way to do it is to actually um use a for loop okay so the for loop is going to say for x right in the work data dot index okay so work data dot index right because the work data has the index feature remember from our info now what do i want to do i want to say if the if the work data and call the loc function if the work data loc and i want to reference x each time okay and x in which of the in which of the um in, in which of the columns really so we are talking about the duration column right so of the duration column right there and if it is greater than 60 what do you want to do so if it's greater than 60 go down then you just reference this and you just reference this and make it 60 okay so i'll just copy this so i don't have to type and of course not greater than make it equals 60 okay so now i've been able to show you how you can easily work around this so make it 60 right here another way you can do it is to just drop the data okay so shift enter and if i do that and i'll just print my work data right here so you can see that it works now if you look at my duration you see that everything there's nothing like there's no value more than 60 okay so we've been able to do that another thing we can do is if it's above a certain number instead of saying equals 60 we can actually just drop the value okay we can actually just delete the value from there so um that is that you can see what our final data is looking like we have been able to um deal with empty values we've been able to uh, use the mean mode and median to auto fill some values i've shown you how you can look through the data using the 4x in the data index and then how you can replace that with certain value i've shown you how to work with a uh, wrong wrong format like in the date column where you have um, empty values how you can delete specific um, cells and a whole lot of things we've seen in this tutorial so um thank you for watching this one this is uh, of course the part two of our panda series now there's going to be uh, maybe one more part or two more parts where we just talk about um the correlation between data and how you can start to make sense of this data and then we also see how you can start to plot different kinds of graphs from this particular data and now you can um, understand exactly what is going on from your clean data so i'm going to push this um code and the video as well the code for this particular video the link is the link is going to be in the description go to the github page of this tutorial and then you can easily download um, all the sample code you can download all the data and everything you need so thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one please like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you um, share this video with anyone interested in learning python in learning programming in learning data analysis i'll see you in the next one guys